This video is brought to you by the Crazy Aquarium Guy. What's up, fish lovers? Welcome to Science Tanks, Crazy Aquarium Guy. Today is story time while feeding the breeding for profit tank, and a bunch of stuff has happened in the fish room. A lot, a lot. It's been really hard to. Yeah, it's a story time, like I told you. So. Listen to this video please and you will get all the answers why I've been away for so long and I will refer to this video in the future when people ask questions so if you don't listen to this you won't know and it's a lot but we have tons of fun stuff to look forward to in the future uh, I have lots of new ideas and a lot of happy videos after this one but I felt like I need to tell you guys about this video about this video. I want to tell you guys in this video about what happened so you will understand better. Better why I've been away. I can't talk today. It's too early. So yeah, stay tuned guys. Hello fish lovers. Welcome to Sax Tanks Crazy Aquarium Guy. I've been cleaning up this tank a lot lately. So I got uh, I got rid of the water wisteria and some other plants and I have a duckweed problem working on that moved a lot of guppies maybe too much almost it's like 20 in here now at the most I think I had like 200 but I'm gonna show you why I did that look at the beautiful plants some was a tang pelea moss Anubias Nana and Anubias Nana Petite mixed. But I'm gonna show you why I didn't want so many guppies in here. Because the load was getting too much. This is my side area, which I wanna keep clean to feed them. So I'm gonna put in some Community Plus Rapashi and show you why I removed so much guppies. So be patient and hang around with me. I'm gonna do a simple video because otherwise I'm not gonna get out the video at all because I've been so busy. But if I don't do the editing part and just do hello behind the camera, I can do a quick video for you guys. So hopefully that is better than nothing, right? <clears throat> now we're just gonna watch. Hopefully, I didn't feed him too much. And we'll see. If it takes too long for them to get out, maybe I have to edit this one and fast forward a bit. And I've got all these weird shrimps in here because I throw the, I've been throwing in the oddball uh, shrimps in the same tank. So there you can see a pretty good looking Red Riley. But in this tank we have black, browns, blue, blue dreams, and hollow looking ones, natural ones, so to speak. But you're gonna see, not a lot of guppies left. But I'm gonna show you that in another, another video, what my new plan is with the guppies. It's super late, it's like 2 a.m. so this tank should have been turned out, but I did, I wanted to do a special feeding for my lovely fish. They are starting to come out, there is one female, and these are um, yellow bristle nose. Plecos with blue eyes. It's my favorite kind of resonal pleco. I also like the 
yellow with blue eyes, long fin version of course, but still, I don't know, too much long fin doesn't look natural, so, but the yellow with blue eyes is my favorite, that's why I decided to breed it. And we're gonna wait there and see, hopefully we can see, we have one big male, he's the daddy to all the small ones. Maybe I turn the light down a little bit on the camera. Let me see them better. Yeah, is this better? Or this? I think this is better. So... I had to pull out some <laughs> guppies because I have so many plecos in here. And I couldn't have all the guppies and plecos in at the same time. It was too much water changes. I had to do water change uh, two times a week and I'm off during the week. So I, uh, I had to cut down on the food but I didn't want to do that because them fish are gonna die because there was too much fish and not enough food. So I moved the guppies. And there is a couple of sad reasons why I haven't been making so much videos and I don't want to bum you guys out I know as a YouTube channel and as a youtuber really I should have done five videos and they would have gotten a lot of views so in that perspective if you look at, at the, uh, just care about views and how to get uh, a good video out I should have been done doing tons of videos this period but I haven't because I hate doing videos when things go bad because I'm devastating for real so I don't like I I want to do videos when I'm happy about something that's fun that's nice to share with you guys not doing videos about things where I screw up or things that are out of my control and just bad luck so but since I'm gonna release this video I think I can share with you two big things and I think you will understand why this why those two things uh, was really hard for me to get over and that is the first thing if you watch my um, fish room tour I released uh, I think I released it uh, in August watch that again and skip to the end and watch the rainbow tank it doesn't look like that at all anymore I got they started to get sick I didn't know what it was I nuked the tank with different kinds of meds all the plants started to look ugly I kept losing fish I'm down to 15 rainbow fish maybe five denison barbs the torpedo barbs and the plants looks a lot worse they looked really good in August and now they look not, I wanna say like shit because they, some people for some people they look good but compared to what they looked in that video my tour, uh, fish room tour video it looked terrible so I lost m uh, a lot of things in my favorite tag and that sh uh, <laughs> that part was really hard for me but it kept happening my first favorite Ryukin who was in my banner um, I have a new banner now but the banner I had for a year that Ryukin all of a sudden started to womp around swim around and upside down and I had to go away for work and next time I came home he was dead not a mark on the body so probably some intestinal problems some uh, constipation that can happen with fancy goldfish but it has happened to me too much so I can take it anymore I'm not I'm never buying another fancy goldfish again because it hurts too much when they pass away so that now you will think that is all right nope wait three weeks later I found another goldfish exactly the same way uh, he is uh, perfect and shiny eyes just 
floating dead. Rock hard body though, so he was probably constipated. And I realized one of my auto feeders uh, didn't stop spin when it's, uh, it spins around and releasing food. And it spin, spun around like 10 times instead of 2 times. So that was probably it. But it took me over a month to see that because I had to be home during the week one time to see that on the auto feeder. And uh, to understand and realize that was the problem. So killed off two of my favorite fish. Uh, half of in my favorite tank, the rainbow tank, uh, half of the fish and destroyed a lot of the plants and killed expensive fish, fish I've been uh, putting in a lot of work with, a lot of luxury food, a lot of frozen foods, if you talk money, I mean, yeah, so, and unfortunately, it isn't over, two weeks ago, now it's three weeks ago, no two weeks ago, it was Saturday night and I was gonna put on a t-shirt and I stepped in water. I was like, what is this? So, and it was uh, late uh, Saturday, so I turned on the lights in the room and I saw that my uh, 138 gallon with the yellow labs and tiger barbs were leaking. On a Saturday night, I had to go Sunday to the other city to my job. And, and that week was really important because we had some meetings that I had to attend to. So I couldn't skip that. So I had to make something really drastic and lose a lot of money because I can't go away with an empty, with a tank started leak at 138 gallon tank is leaking. You don't want to go away for a week. So I called up my favorite aquarium guy and said, hey man, I know you were going to buy my yellow labs if uh, I wanted to keep something else, because we had talked about that. I had plans for that 138 gallon, but it's filled with crypto green plants. I'm gonna take some of the plants, but if you come uh, early tomorrow and empty the tank, take the fish, take the, the big crypto green plant in the middle, the big super, I forget the name now, I think it's Usteriana, uh, a rare cryptocurrency, and I had the super big, you know, you saw the video in the fish room tour, and all the fish and the tank, so because it's a big job to move a tank, it was a super expensive tank with background and it's super heavy, and I'm, I'm all alone, so I said, if you get someone with you to take all of this out by tomorrow you get everything for free and of course I took away my FX6 filter and my two LEDs on top and put on the T8 fluorescent lights that came with the tank so I still got those I didn't lose those and I took away two stream Eheim streamers they were super expensive so I took those away before we got here and so and I took away a big uh, Java Fern on uh, Driftwood because he he wouldn't remember if that was in the tank. So, but everything else he got for free if he took it away the next morning. And he took the deal, of course. He got 60 yellow labs for free. Um, 15 tiger barbs, 10 brisanos plecos. So, and a huge uh, rare crypto green. That was listen. Ah. It was so much to lose all that so I haven't been making videos because my tanks and my hobby has been killing me so hopefully you guys can understand that and be patient and yeah I'm just waiting for inspiration to do something else and get over that I lost a super amount of money and that I lost so much time that I'd invested in uh, a lot of those beautiful fish, etc, uh, etc. Et so, and it looks like it's too late for them to come out. Or that this is not their favorite food because they're, this video wasn't good at all for showing you how many bristlenos I have in here. <laughs> I'm gonna put in some else. I got so carried away with the store now, but... 
I think I'm gonna release this video anyway because I'm really gonna tell you guys I really wanted to tell you guys about all this stuff but I don't like making videos and calling them my tank is leaking and holding my hands on my head and look with a tear in my eye on some sad emoji thumbnail just to get a lot of views when everything goes bad I don't like that part so it's not that I can't share with you guys that I obviously did something wrong with the rainbows maybe it was those three golden river rainbows which, which I nuked the shit out of before I put in but could still be that those carried something to the other rainbows and it took a couple of months to make it happen could be our crazy summer was the hottest summer in Sweden in over 200 years and 200 years ago before that we didn't even measure heat in Sweden and historical I mean and kept it so probably ever and that was insane to not be able to be here and open the windows and get my tanks uh, cooler and because I was away all the time so maybe it was a late reaction to that rainbows doesn't like 86 87 degrees in the water it was crazy I don't know why everything happened at once but you know it's all really hard to go away uh, every week from I had 14 aquariums now I have 11 and from all my tanks and all the times I invested and just coming home to another disaster and another another disaster and constantly seeing everything fall apart because I go away I, that's my only I know it could have happened if I've been home as well but all those things felt like yeah I go away now to make money but I come home I lose the thing that's closest to my heart if you understand what I mean now this has been a super long video and it's super boring and the camera has been still for the whole video and my purpose isn't even good because the isn't even yeah because they don't even come out I should say I came home and all my tanks were uh, out so I turned this tank on to do this video and maybe some of the Brazilian Plecos don't want to come out because it's too because they are already in sleeping mode or maybe it is because I fed them a huge amount this day earlier I don't know that's my story why I haven't making videos uh, I think it's pretty reasonable to call it uh, one of the worst setbacks since I started the hobby so hopefully you will understand why I don't have so much happiness in me and energy when I came home when I when I come home on the weekends and make videos and share with you guys I know I should start I'm I know I should be able to share when things go bad but I just don't like it because I can't tolerate comments like oh maybe you didn't do enough water changes when I do 90% every week never miss them and all that shit that you get when you do those videos everything bad this tank was leaking blah 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 you always get tons of comments uh, people being uh, I, don't, I mean people celebrating your ha your uh, uh, I don't know I don't know hopefully you understand what I mean and hopefully you can be patient with my channel I'm gonna keep the channel I'm gonna keep making videos but that's why I haven't been making a lot of videos besides that I've been super busy of course but still if even if you're super busy you can cram in some time to make videos if you're happy but I haven't been happy, I've been super busy and sad so and I failed again because I want to show you in the video that I have like 300 Brissimol Plecos in here but for some reason they don't want to come out maybe they are smarter than we think and see the camera <laughs> it's still a lot I mean
it's tons of them in here but it doesn't look like 300 but it is I promise you sometimes when I feed them I can't see the gravel in this whole area and we have three big females and one male we started with that so the male is not growing very much because he's chasing and trapping another female as soon as he, uh, he has uh, put out and chased away the first batch. Then he can just trap a new female all the time because I have three females to one male. But I feel bad about the male, but it's his de decision. He should eat more and do less spawnings. <laughs> but the tank overall looks pretty great right now. I like it uh, better when it's a little bit more clean. I mean, I love the jungle look, which I showed you in a video, if you haven't seen that. I think it's just two videos away or something. But this is much easier, and if I want to catch out fish, which I also do, sell fish, of course, from this tank, uh, it can't be like a jungle, because you can't get the fish. So, 20 minutes, me ranting about everything that has gone bad with the channel and everything but still now at least now I let you in and told you what happened so yeah I wanted to do that at some point and why not in this video I mean at least it is an update of the 50 gallon breeding for profit in an aquascape tank video so love the support guys and i'm gonna try to make more videos i was going to make another video and hopefully i can put out two videos this week this really sad one <laughs> if you are still listening which probably only 10 percent do because it's not been fun to listen to i can understand that uh, but if those 10 percent are left here put uh, extra video in the comment and I know who, which ones who listened till the end uh, just for me it's a fun thing and I'm gonna try to put out another video that's not gonna be sad it's gonna be awesome okay because I have some ideas I'm starting to get over all these bad things that happen so thank you fish lovers for watching See you in another video. Bye-bye.